Hello, in this video I'll show you one of cheapest metal bands saw I bought in Hoffer store. They already sell them last year for 199 euro, but stock was sold out instantly, so this time I ordered it online as soon as Hoffer make an offer. Price was a bit higher than last year, so I paid 220 euro for it, and that's what I got. Completely pre-assembled saw with a base, some tools, spear blade and lot of paper manuals. I was looking for some better saw, but the price quickly rise up to 500 to 700 euro and they are much bigger for same cutting capacity. I only need it here and there, so I'll take the cheap saw because it's very small size, so storing isn't a problem. There are many different saws like this with pretty much the same price, but some of them got plastic housing. There are a lot of force when the saw is tensioned. I read that the plastic can deform over time and then so constantly fall off the wheels. So I take that one because entire housing is made out of cast aluminium. Base is made out of thin metal and it's reinforcement on needed spots. On corners got four rubber legs. Also the vise is made out of metal sheets. It's got quick release half nut and one jaw is movable, which is not that good because we hardly clamp piece shorter than 10 cm, since saw run quite far away from the jaws. So itself look quite solid, because entire motor housing, reductor and wheel holders are made out of cast aluminium, so only the handle part and wheel covers is plastic. On top we got switch for LED light, from side we have trimmer for speed adjust and a trigger for run the saw. Saw base hinge lock in upper and lower position, which can be annoying but still useful, I just miss disable function. Now let's try to run it for the first time. LED is really useless, it can barely see it's turned on, but it may work in a full dark. Motor got 1100 watt of power, so speed is settable from 0 to 2.4 meter per second and the trigger got no locking function, so you need to hold it while cutting. As you hear the saw is really loud and the saw run in other direction like on bigger saws. It got another handle on backside, which can be set at in wanted position and with only 3 screws remove the entire saw from the base, so we can use them manually. For a small saw like this it got quite big cutting area, which is 127 by 127 mm, or 127 by 40 mm if you set them to cut at 45 degree. Wheel covers are slide on and secured with a single screw. Wheels are metal with removable rubber bands. One of them has a knob to tie the saw blade. Powered wheel also has brush for cleaning rubber surface and there are 11 bearings to guide the saw. Ok, now let's try to cut something. I start with a piece of aluminium size about 10 by 3 cm. At the beginning it cut nicely, but when the saw go deeper into material entire saw start jumping and vibrating. Also the cut wasn't that nice as I expected. Then I tried to cut about 30mm round steel bar and noticed that the saw cut metal much smoother than aluminium and also the cut was much better. There's no problem to cut also bigger piece of steel. Smaller piece of aluminium cut without problem, so I tried to cut a bigger piece once again, this time with adding some alcohol for cooling and lubricating. It got much smoother, but the cut still wasn't nice and there was steel clocks on the saw teeth, so I think it's a saw blade issue. Then I take the saw off the base and try to cut manually. It cut, but I was a bit disappointed because it can't cut aluminium, so I just clean the saw and put it under the table. Next day I call a guy who makes saw blades and tell him about the problem. He instantly know where the problem is. And a few days later I got new saw blades, which should solve the issue. Plate which come with the saw got 14 to 18 teeth per inch, which is way too fine for cutting aluminium. Now I get two different saws. One have 10 to 14 teeth per inch for cutting metal and other have 6 to 10 teeth per inch for cutting aluminium. You can see here it's a quite a big difference. All bimetal saws are marked by how many teeth per inch they got. But why there are two numbers? Because the density of teeth isn't uniform. Here you can nicely see that a few teeth is bigger and a few smaller, because some teeth cut material better and other clean the surface better. Now let's try them. Firstly I put on 10 to 14 TPI saw blade and try to cut aluminium. It cut much smoother and faster, but if I push too hard the saw teeth still clog a bit which make the saw vibrating. 
Then I make some cuts on steel with the same saw. Also here I notice it cut faster and still make a nice cut. And then I put on a 6 to 10 TPI saw blade and try to cut aluminium. It got very fast, but also that blade make the saw vibrating. But there was no clocks between teeth, so I figured it out that the saw grabbed too much material at once, so instead of pushing saw down I need just leave the saw to cut with its own weight, or even lifting up a bit while cutting. But if I add a bit of alcohol, the magic happened. As you can see it cut super fast, and cutting surface is more than good to me. Smaller pieces cut nicely also without cooling, and that 6 to 10 TPI saw blade got no problem also to cut metal or brass. So Nike make nice cuts with a new blade, but then I noticed that it doesn't cut perpendicularly, not vertically and not horizontally. So I disassembled the base and quickly find the issue. Base is stamped out of thin metal so its surface isn't flat. All I need to do is to make a washer and put it under a blocking screw for vertical alignment, and just set right angle which is offset from the scale for horizontally alignment. Put the saw back on base and make a test. Much better. It cut nicely and precise now, so I try to make a 45 degree cut, which is a bit strange because saw run about 10 cm from the wise jaws, but it cut some kind. After replacing the saw blade and make some setup I am satisfied with the saw, so I just make a quick upgrade. That's it, I make a really simple length limiter for serial cuts, and when it's not in use it can be simply stored under the base. And that's about it. I know many of you will say it's a piece of shit, but honestly we're talking about 200 euro worth saw, so I think it do the job just great for the price, especially with new saw blades which cost me 10 euro per piece and with some alignment I get out of saw just what I want. I like that it's small and cut just good for my use here and there. Cons is that it's really loud, LED is useless and I wish that they already put two different saw blades in the box. I make these clips a while ago, so far I already make a few cuts also on 60mm round steel rod and the cut was same as on 3000 euro worth Femi professional saw we have at work. But it's still a hobby saw for home use. If you got one home or planning to buy one just make sure you got the right saw blade on it. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.